Republic of Fiji, and 2, is an island country in Melanesia, part of Oceania in the South Pacific Ocean. It lies about 1,100 nautical miles, 2,000 kilometers, 1,300 miles, north-northeast of New Zealand. Fiji consists of an archipelago of more than 330 islands, of which about 110 are permanently inhabited, and more than 500 islets, amounting to a total land area of about 18,300 square kilometers, 7,100 square miles. The most outlying island group is Onoailau. About 87% of the total population of 924,610 live on the two major islands, Didi Livu and Vanua Livu. About three quarters of Fijians live on Didi Livu's coasts, either in the capital city of Suva, or in smaller urban centers such as Nadi, where tourism is the major local industry, or in Latoka, where the sugarcane industry is dominant. The interior of Didi Livu is sparsely inhabited because of its terrain. 12. The majority of Fiji's islands were formed by volcanic activity, starting around 150 million years ago. Some geothermal activity still occurs today on the islands of Vanua Levu and Tavuni. 13. The geothermal systems on Vidi Levu are non-volcanic in origin and have low temperature surface discharges, of between roughly 35 and 60 degrees Celsius, 95 and 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Humans have lived in Fiji since the 2nd millennium BCE, first Austronesians and later Melanesians, with some Polynesian influences. Europeans first visited Fiji in the 17th century, 14, in 1874, after a brief period in which Fiji was an independent kingdom, the British established the colony of Fiji. Fiji operated as a crown colony until 1970, when it gained independence and became known as the Dominion of Fiji. In 1987, following a series of coups d'état, the military government that had taken power declared it a republic. In a 2006 coup, Commodore Frank Bainimarama seized power. In 2009, the Fijian High Court ruled that the military leadership was unlawful. At that point, President Ratu Josefa Iloilo, whom the military had retained as the nominal head of state, formally abrogated the 1997 constitution and reappointed Baini Marama as interim prime minister. Later in 2009, Ratu Epeli Nailatiko succeeded Iloilo as president, 15, on September 17, 2014, after years of delays, a democratic election took place. Baini Marama's Fiji First Party won 59.2% of the vote, and international observers deemed the election credible. 16. Fiji has one of the most developed economies in the Pacific, 17, through its abundant forest, mineral, and fish resources. The currency is the Fijian dollar, with the main sources of foreign exchange being the tourist industry, remittances from Fijians working abroad, bottled water exports, and sugar cane. 4. The Ministry of Local Government and Urban Development supervises Fiji's local government, which takes the form of city and town councils. Fijians first impressed themselves on European consciousness through the writings of the members of the expeditions of Cook who met them in Tonga. They were described as formidable warriors and ferocious cannibals, builders of the finest vessels in the Pacific, but not great sailors. They inspired awe amongst the Tongans, and all their manufactures, especially bark cloth and clubs, were highly valued and much in demand. They called their home Viti, but the Tongans called it Faisai, and it was by this foreign pronunciation, Fiji, first promulgated by Captain James Cook, that these islands are now known. Since Fiji spans 1,000 kilometers, 620 miles, from east to west, it has been a nation of many languages. Fiji has long had permanent settlements, but its peoples also have a history of mobility. Over the centuries, unique Fijian cultural practices developed. Fijians constructed large, elegant watercraft, with rigged sails, called drua, and exported some of Tatanga. Fijians also developed a distinctive style of village architecture, including of communal and individual beret and veil housing, and an advanced system of ramparts and moats that were usually constructed around the more important settlements. Pigs were domesticated for food, and a variety of agricultural plantations, such as banana plantations, existed from an early stage. 
Villages were supplied with water brought in by constructed wooden aqueducts. Fijians lived in societies led by chiefs, elders, and notable warriors. Spiritual leaders, often called bed, were also important cultural figures, and the production and consumption of yakona was part of their ceremonial and community rites. Fijians developed a monetary system where the polished teeth of the sperm whale, called tambua, became an active currency. A type of writing existed which can be seen today in various petroglyphs around the islands. 23. Fijians developed a refined massy cloth textile industry and used the cloth they produced to make sails and clothes such as the malo and the liku. As with most other ancient human civilizations, warfare or preparation for warfare was an important part of everyday life in pre-colonial Fiji. The Fijians were noted for their distinctive use of weapons, especially war clubs. 24, 25, Fijians use many different types of clubs that can be broadly divided into two groups. Pottery art from Fijian towns shows that Fiji was settled by Austronesian peoples by at least 3500 to 1000 BC, with Melanesians following around a thousand years later, although there are still many open questions about the specific dates and patterns of human migration into Fiji and many other Pacific islands. It is believed that either the Lapita people or the ancestors of the Polynesians settled the islands first, but not much is known of what became of them after the Melanesians arrived. The old culture may have had some influence on the new one, and archaeological evidence shows that some of the migrants moved on to Samoa, Tonga, and even Hawaii. Archaeological evidence also shows signs of human settlement on Moturiki Island, beginning at least by 600 BC and possibly as far back as 900 BC. Although some aspects of Fijian culture are similar to the Melanesian culture of the Western Pacific, Fijian culture has a stronger connection to the older Polynesian cultures. The evidence is clear that there was trade between Fiji and neighboring archipelagos long before Europeans made contact with Fiji. For example, the remains of ancient canoes made from native Fijian trees have been found in Tonga, the language of Fiji's Lao Islands contains Tongan words, and ancient pots that had been made in Fiji have been found in Samoa and even as far away as the Marquesas Islands. In the 10th century, the Tuai Tonga Empire was established in Tonga, and Fiji came within its sphere of influence. The Tongan influence brought Polynesian customs and language into Fiji. That empire began to decline in the 13th century, 